This Minecraft seed is crazy. Here's how I transform my favorite Minecraft seed into the most ultimate survival fantasy game. Alright, if you're not subscribed, then you probably don't know this seed. This seed starts you at spawn with seven structures. You have a village, a woolen mansion, a rune portal. Close to the rune portal, you also have a pillager outpost. And right below the village, you have an ancient city and a trial chamber. But if you take a closer look, you will find a second ancient city close by. If you're playing on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, head over in this direction and you will find a second village. And right below the village, you will find a stronghold. The first add-on in this video is World Generation. Realism Craft overalls World Generation adding custom trees, plants and amazing structures. Each biome has unique trees and structures that add more life to Minecraft. In the plains biomes, you will find butterflies, custom pillager outposts with pretty decent loot. One of my favorite are these custom mine shafts that you can find around the world. The ocean have wandering traders on a raft and also pirate ships which are filled with pillagers. So be careful before going to these because they are really dangerous. The snow biome is one of my favorite. It has northern lights and a temple. Just be careful not to fall for the powdered snow trap like I did. This temple also has a lot of mob spawners so be careful before going here. All of these structures have a lot of mobs and a lot of mob spawners so make sure you have good gear before entering these. I also added the abandoned structures add-on which adds more small structures around the world. The coolest I think though are in the nether. This adds a lot of custom structures where you can find food, fire resistance potions and even golden apples. The nether is definitely a more exciting place with this add-on. Next we move on to custom mobs. For this we have three add-ons. Realism Craft actually adds a few custom mobs as well as biome variants with custom animations. Without spoiling too much, zombies spawn out of the ground like this and check out the ender dragon. The next two add-ons are Tree Folk Guardians and Samurai Boss add-on. Tree Folk are like mini bosses that spawn in the forest with variants. This is what it looks like in an oak forest and this is what it looks like in a cherry forest. They have 300 health and deal 10 damage per attack so make sure you have good armor before fighting these. Apparently they also attack zombies, so if you can find a way to move them, maybe they can be used to defend your base. That's a cool idea. When they are defeated, they drop wood chips that can be used to craft armor. This is what the armor looks like. It doesn't look too cool at the front, like this is my face right here, but it's powerful. I've also added the Nico's Mobs add-on, which adds a lot of mobs with special abilities. You can even tame some of these mobs. The Samurai boss is way stronger and can be found in this structure. It's actually pretty rare, so you may need to travel far to find it. When you do, you need to break the spawn block to summon the Samurai boss. The Samurai boss has 750 health and deal 10 damage per attack while summoning Samurai soldiers, so make sure you're ready before fighting this guy. It drops armor fragments that can be used to craft the Samurai armor. You can also craft a powerful sword from items looted from this structure, so it's definitely worth traveling to find one of these. The final group of add-ons improves the mechanics of the game. Third person camera changes the camera angle to look more like an RPG game. Your camera will automatically switch between first person and third person depending on where you are. While actions and stuff add on adds a whole bunch of custom animations and effects. Without spoiling too much, the player runs like this, you fight like this, piglins have glowing eyes, Using the ender pearl looks so cool and enderman? You can also obviously add shaders to make this look even more realistic but I think it looks pretty cool without shaders as well. Subscribe for my new survival series using this seed and these cool add-ons.